Hey guys, welcome to Moving On TV. I'm the Positivity Show. Today I've got Elaine Searle coming on to give us some positive news about the children. And um, basically we're going to do our best to find out as much as possible about what's really going on and all the good news. So I want to talk to her about the dumbs. She'll explain what they are. And... Um, yeah, so welcome to Moving On TV. Hang on, it's coming on now. Okay. Okay, hi Elaine. Oh, hi Laura, nice to meet you. I'm so excited to have you on Moving On TV because we're going to be sending out a lot of positivity for a change. And a lot, because people are always asking the same questions over and over again. What is really going on? And, and where are the kids and all this sort of stuff. So before we start... I understand you're in Devon now. You're in Devon. I am. In North Devon. So let's, let's start with a very, very generic question that everyone asks. How's the weather? Sorry? How's the weather? The weather here is showery and it's colder. Mm. Yeah. It's yeah. here. I'm in High Wycombe. <laughs> oh, right. Sharon, we have the most incredible, beautiful weather for the last couple of weeks, it's been so hot, and now it's gone into predictable end of September weather. So, all well, this morning when I got up, it was only 12 degrees here, which is not very warm. <laughs> no, no. So, we have to now we have to get on to our vitamins to you know to get ourselves well, our echinacea. Um, just just um, in passing, Laura Ward put on a fantastic recipe of how to stay well through the winter and not catch any naughty flu bugs, if you know what Did she? Yeah, and I can send that to you. It's um, made with lemon and grapefruit. Um, use the peels and you, you boil them up, and I think you add some stuff to it, and that's it. That's all you need. You're re yeah, well, of course, grapefruit has quinine in it. Fantastic, I know. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back a bit because I love to find out as much as I can about people. So Elaine, tell us a little bit about yourself, about your background, where were you born, uh, you know, how did you come into all of this? But um, originally, just tell us a little bit about yourself so we can get to know. Well, I'm a Devonshire maid actually, born and bred, and, um, but I've travelled the world. Um, I've done, I've got a good education and I spent 20 odd years in social housing, but I'm a lady of leisure now. And, um, I found sometime last year, my psychic side, which comes from my grandmother, um, was very active and it felt almost like I was being protected and I was in a bubble as if I was waiting for something. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I, it, I, my intuition just said, slow down, rest, recuperate. You're going to be needed, Elaine. And, um, well, what happened was, um, of course, I had all this time on my hands. And I started to look at things on the internet. And um, I think it was about November, December time I discovered Q. Mm -hmm. Now, the Q posts fascinated me, and um, I started to try and interpret them and so on. And then after Christmas, we had, of course, the first cases of COVID-19 start showing up. So um, I just went from there, really. I mean, I've got an in intuitive background. My grandmother, her mother, it goes right back through. They're from Ireland. And... They were psychics and uh, hedgerow witch witches, and um, okay. <laughs> you know they they sort of left me this this gift, and so I read tarot and I do um, various readings. But funnily enough, during this last year, that's gone very much into the background. It's almost as if um, I'm changing, I'm developing, and I know I'm growing so okay um but i started to discover that covid19 wasn't all that it seemed earlier this year and um at first i was a bit worried but it didn't really 
shaped me because something in my heart told me I didn't really need to worry. Okay. And I've followed that and I've never worn a mask or um, really socially distanced unless I've been asked to. Um, you know, I'm a great believer in building up your own immunity to things. And um, in March, the World Health Organization downgraded COVID to a flu virus. Yes, now, we all know that um, flu viruses don't cause lockdown. Oh. So the idea was um, I would look into it and see what I could find out about why we were being locked down for a flu virus. Mm -hmm. And I've come up with all sorts. And I don't think there's any need for any of us to panic. In fact, I think we're going to move into a wonderful time for all of us. And um, I do think there's a need for us to stand up for ourselves peacefully and stand in our own sovereignty and be truthful. And I think that we need to stand up for our children and the fact they're having to wear masks in certain circumstances um, because it will affect them for a long time to come. Mm -hmm. And, well, basically everything went bang and my whole view of the world changed. So, <laughs> okay, you can know. we? Thanks, Elaine. Uh, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I feel exactly the same as you. Um, I started to get into a mode of fighting. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm an ex-war child. I grew up in Israel. And so I started to get into that mode of fighting. And I was going to Trafalgar Square and I was doing everything, you know, on that line. And then on Saturday, I had a massive awakening. And I realized that something was trying to lead us into violence and war. And I walked and I totally agree with you. Um, what we've got to do is we've got to wake up as many people. We've got to teach common law. We've got to use our brain and our heart, but we must not fight. But I want to go back again. I want to go a bit further back, uh, Elaine, because not everybody um, picks up on this like you. So you said that you came from a background where your your um, your family, the women were hetero witches. Is that what you said? Do you want to explain a bit about that? <laughs> yeah, my grandma was a wonderful woman. She had no real education. Um, she couldn't read or write properly. She used to write her her little notes and letters in Devonshire. She'd spell it in Devonshire and everything, you know. But she had an uncanny ability to heal things and um, her own recipes passed down from her mum as to what would take away certain ailments and things like that. And um, she was quite a character, you know. She was very superstitious. Uh, my mother didn't believe in any of this but had the sixth sense that she had and um, the intuitive gene, if you like. But basically, um, Gran and her mother were practicing psychics and witches, you know, but in the best possible way, in the way of being a light witch, you know. And mm -hmm. um, they, they always had busy houses, people coming in and out, people coming to ask for advice, people coming to ask for, could have they got anything to help this? you know, or whatever. And um, I, have, I have a natural ability to cook. I love looking at natural cures. Um, I'm a great believer in, in eating the proper foods, um, you know, and I get it all from them because, you know, that it's sort of in me, if you like. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see, these are the kind of people that knew from the beginning you and me, we knew from the beginning that this was not a serious virus or a pandemic because we knew that we could heal everything. Because, you know, for years and cent for centuries, we've been using natural methods to heal everything, as you said, and you were more or less brought up that way. So, but what I want to ask you now is because this is the big question that everyone wants to know. And wherever I go, everyone says, oh, how come we can see evidence 
of the kids being released. So the first thing I want you to explain is what are the DUMBs, the D-U-M-B-S's? So um, basically, can you first of all explain to us what is, what are the D-U-M-B-S? What do DUMBs mean? Can you explain that first? Yeah, the dumb st is is stand their, their letters standing for various words, of course, and it's it's deep underground military base. Okay. Okay, thank um, you. Um, they're changing that at the moment in Trump speak and everything in the Q team to S U M B S. Okay, secret underground military bases. They're changing it because. Um, they're not, I mean, they're all deep, but they, they come from diff, different levels. Some are, some are like um, hundreds of miles deep towards the Earth's core. But basically, they, um, I think they don't want them, they aren't associated with the present teams that are cleaning them out. And they wanted to separate it from that. So okay, basically, so but everybody will know generally, probably, and, and it, as dumps, okay? And it's a deep okay. underground military base. Okay, so they've created these bases, have they, in order to go under into the tunnels to release the children? Is that what they've created them for? No, no. These deep underground military bases have been there, some of them, for centuries. They can be ancient, ancient tunnels, um, and they they crisscross all over the world, from continent to continent, from um, under the sea, um, from one end of the Americas to the other, um, all around the Caribbean, under the oceans. They are massive network of underground tunnels built by the deep state. Oh my God. And, and this is where they experiment on the children. They do the sex trafficking. They, they're just doing horrendous stuff to kids in these dumps. Is that what you're saying? And, it, and what it's all I, across the world. I can only repeat what I've seen on, on um, my explorative journey. But basically, from what I understand... After the Second World War, they exported all of Hitler's um, scientists to America. And those scientists were then given um, jobs in, in, to carry on the experiments that Hitler started. And we all know Hitler did some dreadful things to people and the Jews in particular. Um, yeah. But um, I'm Jewish. Yeah, right. So that will pull a cord with you, won't it? Definitely. Yes. But um, basically, this is not the, the general public in America. The Most of the politicians did not know anything about this. It was a very secretive thing and has been since goes back to the times of Solomon. You know, it goes back a long way. Um, and they've hidden from us and um, abducted our children and our young girls for things that they do to them, which are unspeakable. Um, and basically, this has been going on for a long time. There have been several presidents and good people that have tried to make a dent in this and stop them. But they've all been taken out for some reason or other. And the JFK, Trump team, sorry, yeah, John F. Kennedy. Well, people like Kennedy, people like um, Reagan, people like um, um, Martin Luther King, the deep state took it. Were were all res were responsible for all of those because they knew about this going on and tried to stop it. But um, Trump was approached um, many years ago now, probably, probably. Um, maybe 20 years ago and asked would he like to stand for president and would he be the light in the dark and well sorry is this connected with jfk jr when he was supposed to have been killed um oh, yes there are people that yes. believe that jfk was just whisked away and it will re-emerge 
There are some people that say when Trump did his Mount Rushmore speech this year, JFK was on the top of one of the presidents. There was a man up there, but whether it was him, I don't know. You yeah. know, but the I can't give you. Sorry. I can't the give you definites because everything is so unbelievable at the moment. But I can give you what is going on underneath the mainstream media because the mainstream media know about all this but they're being told not to not to touch it they're they're controlled by the deep state so television newspapers magazines um internet news things like yahoo news google news huffington post you know all these things are controlled by the deep state and we need to break away from watching the television and the media and we need to i haven't watched the television for five six years something like that i don't blame you i mean we're looking at um the work that i've done with laura ward for example about eight million children a year going missing in the world i know the figures are horrific media, aren't they unbelievable and the media yeah never highlight it not once so we know that there's some kind of controlled something going on here and um but what i want to come back to you here before we go into how you found all this information out and what else you're finding out is who do you think is doing this i mean for me personally i feel that there must have been some kind of um dark alien force intervention like jfk said who are the greys and why are they here because i can't believe elaine that humans originally could do this such cruelty because i think it must have started in some way with some kind of dark alien force that we were sold out we were sold out in some way and then they manipulated a lot of people that were happy to go with their id, you know, that had very um, uncontrollable sexual desires and, and also and were, were very... Do you know where I'm coming from here? Do you think that it started with... I do, but I mean, I've looked at... Being, being spiritual, I've looked at every aspect, you know. I've looked at the um, uh, alien alliances, I've looked at spiritual stuff, I've looked at different religions, I've looked at the Bible, I've looked at um, the general consensus in, in the Q arena, everything. And what's absolutely um, positive for me is that Nearly every religion has predicted this event um, and it's predicted that um, we will win. And um, I already know that um, we have done an awful lot of the work. The trouble is, um, according to spiritual um, people, you find that they're talking about we are going from a 3D to a 5D consciousness. Okay. Now, Sorry, do you want to, okay, do you want to explain that to anyone who doesn't actually understand, not to myself? Well, it's, to the, the levels of consciousness are levels of your understanding and how you apply them to the world, okay? But that's also your, um, your spiritual side, your mental side, your physical side. It affects all of it. So basically, at the moment, most of the world is in a 3D consciousness state and they don't realize there's anything else going on around them. They just see the world as it is and know what they have to do and that's what they do every day. They don't look any further. The trouble is um, we have been led into um, believing that this is a good world and that we will be given whatever is necessary to manage our lives. Okay, but if you look at this, all the different religions and all the different spiritual things and so on, and you start joining the dots, you realize that many years ago, before, before anybody could write and read or write anything, you know, these aliens apparently came to earth, okay, the dark ones, and there are three different kinds. The greys are one of them, which JFK Jr. did speak about, you're right. But um, the dark ones have built their own teams. Um, it goes back as far as Egyptian times and, and beyond because 
um, if you remember, there was a, a group of Egyptians that had the high domed heads. It yeah. was um, um, the, the cranial bit was shaped overly and much bigger than normal. And if you look at the Rothschild heads, mm. they are slightly bigger and they are the remnants of those Egyptians. So there are supposed to be 13 of the original families that came to Earth. Um, they were still prevalent in this world. They were in control of everything. Um, money, you know, um, drugs, everything, banking, you know, um, well, I can't, I can't really, it just encompasses everything. I can't, I can't split it off, okay. But according to my sources and what I've learned, those 13 families have been taken out. Um, there is an awful lot of, um, cleaning up of these dark aliens going on and um the bible's um the bible's pictures of de devils and demons and all this are are actually what they found in some places under australia for instance in um i think it's under the the red rock in australia there is a huge area that um, at the moment, a psychic friend of mine has seen demons being sucked down a fire whirlpool. So light is winning. And, and that is my message. Light is winning. But we all need to be behind that light. Okay. It's interesting that you mentioned Australia because they've gone through so much hell with all of this COVID. But isn't it true that the Satanistic Ritual Abuse, the SRA, is the biggest in the world in Australia, apparently, in Melbourne in particular. Is that why they've gone through more lockdowns and more vigilant lockdowns than the rest of us, do you think? Well, Trump, of course, talks in code, and so do the Q team. And when you hear the words um, COVID lockdown, it's usually because they found something like a huge dumb, and that dumb needs cleaning out and... Um, the children need saving and anybody else they can find, like young women who are made to have certain kinds of babies, etc., etc. Yeah. So um, the, when, when you hear like um, Australia's being very strict on the lockdown, um, it's because they've had um, a particular dumb that, that was very hard to, or very large or they discovered something there that they weren't sure how to deal with and it's taken them a lot longer. Um, but basically, Australia was a key place. It's a massive, massive place for Dums. Mm. And um, the original Aborigines, of course, were the original race. And um, they, they, they knew something was coming. There's been a prophecy about, 2000 uh, about December uh, 2020 so they had particular skills in in the other worlds if you like they have rituals that they perform and no other race has had these rituals they were the originals with these sort of things and they were the first to go if you like because the dark ones wanted the energy from them to um, perform for themselves because the dark ones can't do what we can do. We can, we can ascend through the consciousness levels, but they can't do that. They're not able to. They have to do okay. it with a drug, and that drug is adrenochrome. Okay, well, come, let's come back again to Australia because, um, um, because I wanted to follow up on that because I'm very aware of Fiona Barnett's work um lollipop girl and and everything that she speaks about the um the rape and pedophilia and nicole kidman's family and the hillary clinton and everything and of course she's australian and so um when you look at that and uh also funny enough israel is locked down again and of course italy because of the vatican so you and i can see the common sense elaine but when, when you look at a, an ordinary person on the street or even a person that's awake, and I know a lot of people that are not wearing masks and they're awake and they're going to Trafalgar Square 
and they're being confronted by the issues and the problems, you know, by these speakers that are standing up and, and telling them. And uh, when you try to tell them, look, the kids are being released, this has all been done for a reason, they look at you and they say, no, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't buy into it. I have to go out there and I have to do what's right for my family. And so what can they do? I mean, unfortunately, I feel that people, after the Trafalgar Square thing on Saturday, I was really concerned because one of my friends, one of the guys in our group was the guy that actually got smashed on the ground, Jan. Right, yeah. And then the other two guys that I chatted to, they wanted a fight. They can't, couldn't wait to go back and confront the police. And to me, that's very, very dangerous. So when I said to them, look, I'm going to do a program with someone who's going to prove to you that there is a huge amount of evidence and links that you can go on, that this is actually all about the kids, all about releasing the children, ending the paedophilia, ending the sex trafficking, which is what all of us want, all of us want. They just look at me and they say, it's rubbish. They say, Trump is not a good guy. And I don't know what to say to them. So what would you say? I mean, you've done a lot of research. What well, I mean, our media, because they're deep state backed and the, the deep state knows America is a powerful country. Okay. And it's then they've tried to bring down completely. And to do that, they need to get rid of Trump because the Democrats are in their pocket. Okay. And Trump is not a Democrat. He's actually more of a, more of an independent. He's a Republican, but he wasn't a politician. He was a businessman and he was asked to stand and to do this. He's, he's had a terrible life. He's had over 57 attempts on his life and it's not publicized. We never hear of this. You know, he's working 24-7 and he's trying to save the world from this darkness that was looming. And he's winning. And I know that in my heart and I know it from stuff that I've read. Okay. Okay, what, what could you... So that's where it gets really fascinating because I've, I've felt this about Trump for a long time. There's one percent to me that I have to hold back because you never trust anyone or anything 100% ever. That's what I learned from my life. But I have seen the work he's done. I saw him standing up in church, uh, praying for every tiny baby uh, and uh, saying that he's got to call on a lot of forgiveness for those that kept saying impeach Trump, impeach Trump. Not only that, I, I feel, because I'm a star seed and you're a star seed, I feel that when he always says Trump, he never actually refers to himself as a human. He always says, look at Trump. He looks at himself from above, like he's looking down. And, and that's really interesting because usually people don't say your president or Trump. Do you understand? He's, he, they usually say me. And I thought that's interesting. Because it is I find it I find him a fascinating person. I was really anti-Trump. I let the mainstream media um, kind of um, twist my my um, view of him. And um, I don't. I've well. I mean, we've never been keen on the Americans since the Second World War. We've had this. Oh, the Yanks were here. They say they did this, and they say they did that. And basically, without them, we would have lost. But basically, um, they did come in and help. And yes, they do brag. And yeah, yes, they are full of themselves. And yes, they left a horde of tiny little babies in this country when they went when they went home. <laughs> so you can understand why the British are a bit anti the Yanks. But um, I have been, um, since last, the end of last year, looking at things in the American police political arena and I am now convinced that Trump is a good man and that he's trying very hard to get the whole world into a state of um, uh, joy and happiness and a freedom and sovereignty in a way that no other person has ever done before and he's already started the steps for various things to click into place. But of course, this whole job has been a massive undertaking. And the States is now 92% clear of all guns. 
Um, in Europe, we're still only a quarter done and things are going on under our nose at this moment. Italy, for instance, the, the Vat there were three major points in the deep state um, empire, London, Rome, and the US, okay? Mm -hmm. So basically, the Vatican was a major place and Italy for deep state and dumbs. So Italy, of course, had a much harder, much deeper COVID um, response than anybody else because COVID is used as a code name, if you like, for we are in there cleaning up. Okay. Okay. That's so a very positive message, but where's the proof? See, this is what they keep wanting. Where is the proof? In well, I can only tell them they need to start looking at the QAnons and they interpret the Q posts and they will give it to you. Also, I can give you at the end of the video a complete list of things that I watch on YouTube and that gives me my information along with um, other things I've learned along the way. Okay, mm -hmm. so I can actually help your people to... Um, tap into some of this truth, if you like. But they must listen to their heart, not their head. Mm. I have a lot of people saying the same, luckily. <laughs> it comes to me from different directions. People yeah. have been on board for a while and given me the same sort of information. But like I say, um, I as well, I must admit, I lost my hope. And I, when I... And, I must, and on Saturday, when I came home, I was really, really concerned and thought, how the hell are we going to do this? But then when I think about, I know that we have a law. Like if we come back to the UK, we can pull ourselves out of this by using the common law. And apparently, is it Article 21 that we need to use, um, that I hear of, that we can use our common sense and we can use our wisdom to not let ourselves be drawn into the violence. So, but you're saying that this is all going to die down, that all the violence is going to die down. And so well, on. the advice at the moment from those that are awake and aware is when you're told to lock down, lock down, stay inside, do as you're told, because not necessarily wear a mask or whatever, you know, but go home, keep to the curfew hours and so on and so on, because it's for your good not for theirs. And it means that under the cover of darkness, our military is going in to clean out some mess underground somewhere. And we, they don't want the public involved in this or hurt in any way because some of these creatures do actually escape. And basically what they don't want is um, anybody harmed. So it's to keep us safe that they lock down it's a very good thing, and it won't go on forever. It won't go on for long. But basically... I Sorry, I, I have to stop you there because, unfortunately, so many people are going downhill. I mean, they're losing their businesses, they're losing everything, and the loneliness and the depression and, you know, people that haven't got anything. I mean... It's very, very difficult to get through. Them. I mean, I'm in, in a position where I'm okay at the moment. I, I got a, um, my husband gets a furlough. We're separated, but he is still helping me with that. He's staying with his family, luckily. But if he wasn't, you have to go through the madness of trying to get universal credit. So what I'm trying to say is, as, as, as a media person who gives the truth, who wants to help humans, um, I think people are, are looking at this and they're thinking, well, it's nearly, what, we got locked down in March, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, seven months. I was never locked down. I was always out, always went to my allotment. And, you know, I live in a village and... Um, well, I'm lucky enough to live in a nice you know, place as well. in a nice place. But again, what I'm saying is these people, their lives are falling apart completely. And they, they even those that don't watch the media, they are going out now to prove that um, they, they can't, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do another lockdown. It's just not... Well, well um... I can only say that 
um, the lockdown is also there to show us if we were still under the deep state, we would be under horrific restrictions, okay? So most of us would now be in some sort of camp and they would be looking at using eugenics to get rid of us, you know, because they all believe in that sort of thing. And um, so I think what we're, what's happening is our own countries are kind of showing us what it would be like if if you like but i don't believe that we should be sitting down taking this on the chin i believe we should be out there voicing our um objections i believe we should be making a stand in lots of ways but peacefully and lovingly and you have to remember that anybody like the police who were once public servants are now working for the establishment, not for us. So if they're told to go out there and stand up for themselves and beat somebody who shouts at them and abuses them and so on, walk away as quick as you can. Don't engage at all. Okay. Because we don't need to. The light has won. It's just a case of cleaning out everything now um, and a period of time where we will be... Um, experiencing disruption and there will be some casualties maybe could be you could be me could be anybody in certain respects but the worst is done and I think by the new year we'll be seeing a big difference okay so let's come back to that a second where you were saying so I agree with you it's all about finding that bit in the middle you know, you have to find the bit in the middle. You don't get into the violence because then we're never going to change the consciousness. We're going to have war, another war. And what's the point? Another war brings another war. You kill one policeman, then, then, you'll have, then another person will come and then another 20 well, people. And it's like an eye for an eye. But um, so you've got to find that bit in the middle, which is, thank God, we have got... Well, I saw another gathering um, and the women were shouting at the police, shame on you. Yeah, that was... And that was all they said. There was no violence, no Yeah, nothing. that was at Geza's, I think. Um, when we left Trafalgar Square, Geza gave himself to the police. Right. He said, arrest me so that no one else would be arrested. And that was the difference between him and the fight, the people that were standing on the stage in Trafalgar Square. There's very... Yeah very different consciousness going on there but a peaceful protest with a, with a catchphrase like shame on you when the police start be getting more aggressive aggression only meets with aggression okay but let, can i come back to what you just said there because on one hand you're saying we're winning you see this is where the confusion is we're winning and there's a lot of things that have been cleared out and trump is is basically somebody said to me trump owns the world now one uh, someone said that's it he's actually in charge of everything well if that's the case how come the police are still part of the deep state how come they're still being told to 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 use violence uh, you see there's a lot of confusion going on so but that's because you and i are in the minority and not many people realize all this is going on and they're not awake yet. So they're, they're looking at a 3D reality and the 3D reality is dealing with them. So until they can rise above that and actually look at it in a different way, like we don't need to make violence our, our, um, our action when we go on these, these rallies, we can actually peacefully just blockade the Houses of Parliament so they can't get in and out. We are many and they are few. But what I'm saying is, are the police, who is, so you're saying what I'm saying. If you goad the police, then they will come towards you with violence. Yes. If you say to them, it's okay, I'm, I'm calm, this is how I did it. At Geza's, I said to them, look, I, I, I'm fine. I started singing. Uh, I started singing, all you need is love. And I started chatting to them. And I said, look, these people are just ordinary people. Please don't, don't scare them. 
you mm -hmm. you know i'm a jew i tell them i said i'm a jew and oh you brought up a very it. important point and of course okay. they backed out they backed down because of yeah. violence so are you saying what i'm saying that there is an element though in this country that is leading us to war uh, in trafalgar square last saturday and um, so how are we going to deal with this i'm telling people as soon as you feel that walk away oh, but a lot of people don't feel do they they a lot of people don't use their feelings they use their mind and they're not using the side of their mind they should be using their intuitive side they're using their logical side and the logical side is saying well, this is what happens when somebody gets aggressive. You have to smack him back, you know. But basically, if they used their intuitive side, it would tell them, fight or flight, okay? Now, we both know that one person against a group of, of mob, you know, policemen that are, are in riot gear doesn't stand a chance. Of course, this is what I keep telling people. I, so I logically, you would run. run. They're not trained. I keep saying, look, you are not trained. The police are trained. They'll annihilate you. Please be careful. But the whole thing was goading to violence. And that's why. Yeah. Way. So let's come back again. Well, what you're saying is there's going to be casualties because it's a war. Yes. We can win it. But people need. To but I don't think what I think what we need to realize is this is not just um, a practical human thing that's going on. There are lots of different things like spirituality, like magic, like, like aliens, like um, the whole spectrum of, of the alternative community, if you like, is involved in this. And until we realize that, um, and it's all to do with light and love, and until the 3D people realize this, um, that there's more to life than what they can just see with their eyes, then um, basically these things will carry on because what they're doing is creating their reality. Okay, now the other thing I wanted to say, and you brought it up, the fear factor. Yeah. Now the deep state thrives on our fear. They actually absorb it and it makes them stronger. So we mustn't be afraid because we will win. We are winning. And there's, if you, there's a project, a scientific project called Looking Glass. Look it up on YouTube. You'll see what it's all about. Now, Looking Glass is, a, is what it sort of says. It's like um, looking into the future. And they say that we have this in this world. So certain people have got access to Looking Glass. And they, they have been through, and we have won. But we need to upend our thinking into, okay, if we lived in a beautiful world and we didn't have to worry about money or food or anything like that, how would we want that world to go? And we would, would we be warm and loving and full of light? And yes, we would, because we'd be joyful rather than miserable. So we need to start putting that into practice because okay. that's the reality we want to create. Of course we do. And what we focus on grows. And this is why I keep saying to people. Yes, absolutely. So fear is a no-no. You know. I have a bunch of people that I live around. They're preparing themselves now. They meet up every Sunday and they're preparing themselves for a massive power cut. And they're, they're creating terracotta heaters and all sorts of things. And I can't go there anymore because I feel like it's fear. I, I personally don't believe that we will lose all our power. I don't believe that. Not in, a, in, in the winter. Because something has taken care of the UK. Yeah. I, you feel this. But we have now, this is the light that weather, comes through Trump we? and his team, you see. We had glorious weather all through the lockdown. Yeah. I know. So, so how could that said, possibly be? I believe I mean, did you notice during the lockdown there were no chemtrails? You know, there were no chemtrails. Um, and they weren't digging the roads up as much as that. I must admit, I was questioning that for years. When they're digging the roads up all the time, were they creating more tunnels to sex traffic the children underneath? 
I don't think so. I think um, genuinely our communications has been changing over the years and, and they do need to do an awful lot of work because a lot of our telephone cable is ancient. So mm -hmm. basically they need to replace and renew it all. But um, what I wanted to say on this video more than anything, I think, is that we have won but we now need to put the goodness into everything that we know we have in our hearts. Anything you feel real great love for, that feeling has to be put into life around you. And it will start making the, wet, the best difference you've ever known. I mean, it has its repercussions. As you said earlier, somebody's given you funding for something, you know, that came out of the blue. And, and it's literally having that light attitude. I know it's really hard when you're at rock bottom. And believe me, I've been homeless. I've been hungry. I've been broke. But basically, um, things change. Life is a cycle. The wheel goes up and the wheel goes down. We are going into a really good period. Okay, let's come back again to the children because I, I think a lot of people have woken up, particularly women, when they found out because you can't not see a program where they're protesting outside Disney or outside Hollywood. It seems to be going on all the time now. So um, can you talk a little bit about the children, a little bit of the releasing? Because you said to me, that when Trump asks for ventilators and everything he does is codes, you have to check Twitter and you have to check with Q. So when he's talking about ventilators, he's actually talking about the ventilators for the babies. And, you know, it's, it's just unbelievable. He's talking about what they respirators done so, for the children, yeah. incubators for the babies, but his, his term is respirators, you know, the, the um, incub intubators for making it easier for people to breathe with COVID. But the US have been frantically manufacturing these machines to bring the babies up because the babies are suffering from the bends when they come up. They're so deep underground and they've never known any other pressure. And it's like a diver when he goes diving and he has to acclimatize himself as he comes up from the depth. Otherwise, he gets the bends. Well, so do these babies, which is why he needs these these breathing apparatus, uh, these breathing machines, so that the babies and the children can be saved on the way up. Because at first, when they started to bring them up, they lost them. They died in their arms. Their their insides exploded, and the, and they they had to rush, you know, rush around trying to get enough incubators and. Uh, respirators for these children so that they wouldn't suffer from the bends and it would help them to breathe. They also, some of them, I've never seen the light of day. How, how so their skin bubbles, even in cloudy atmospheres. God. So they can't just bring them out. So they don't do this. And if you were, imagine being a small child being brought to the surface for the first time. Would you want hundreds and thousands of people looking at you of course not no and you wouldn't expect them to want that mm. so they're brought out under cover of darkness mm. we don't see it and as i say some of them are not even being brought out yet because they can't they have to acclimatize them so but they've got them. They've got the dumbs. I can actually tell you that 92% yeah. of the dumbs in America have gone. They've completely gone. California, with all the riots and everything, has, still has a lot of dumbs. But most of the states is clear. Europe, they've, they're about quarter through, and they're working at the moment doing the rest. People like, you know... Um, Salisbury Plain is a, is a well-known area in Britain for military manoeuvres and um, I think there's a big military base there. There's also a big dam underneath Salisbury Plain. There's one under the Brecon Beacons. But all our tunnels, they stretch to Ireland, to France, up to Scotland, up to Iceland and beyond, you know. So they're gradually working their way through, but all of the military services are helping and we don't 
see it. We might hear a bang at some point. Or yeah, we in had London, earthquakes. We had the uh, earthquakes, didn't we? Yes. Quite and if you remember, um, one, yeah, did I hear? Ellsbury. Sorry, because that's where the Rothschilds are near Ellsbury, not very far from me. Yeah. Now that was interesting. We had, there was like a seven. Well, I've got I've got here. Um, it's sort of like a list of our cities that at the moment are going back under COVID lockdown. Okay. Right. And basically it's because they've got dams or tunnels or something underneath them that they need to clean out. So they've gone back into lockdown in these areas. Right. Um, but I can, I can send you that, you know, so oh, people yes. can contact you. Mm. I mean, I've got here. Um, can you tell us a little bit? what you've got there while you're here. well i mean our cities that are on lockdown um if you if you remember if you listen to anything on the news and, and when i get my emails the yahoo news comes up and it says liverpool under lockdown or bolton and runcorn and um leicester under lockdown again parts of birmingham under lockdown these are all places that were huge dumps and they need to make sure they're clean and clear and they've got everybody there to save them. Oh. And to do that, they need the public in a safe place. Mm -hmm. So this is why COVID is the, is the, is the uh, code word, if you like, for we're doing major work in that area, cleaning it up. Mm. Yeah. You see, again, you'll get people saying, oh, the lockdowns are because they want to put in more 5G and total martial law. You've got that lunatic. Yeah, but, but I mean, we will get military on the streets at some point. Um, I'm pretty sure of that. But it won't matter because literally they'll have our best interests at heart. But what we need to do is we need to start acting for ourselves. Trump can't do it all on his own. He's not a miracle worker. He's actually a very hard-working businessman. And what's happened is he's, he's always said all the way along, I will do as much as I can, but I must put America first. It's my country. Yes. Okay. Now, um, so he said, in the, all the other countries in the world, you will have to bring in your own regime. And I think the way... To do it is local groups okay so your own little area around you will form a group and you will become uh, responsible for your area and all the money that comes in and out of that area but trump is also bringing in jasara now jasara stand, stands for global economic something reset you know it's to do with money okay they have a new computer and that computer is a quantum computer so it doesn't work like ordinary computers. It literally works on, it picks up on things intuitively. So if you were, when we're on the quantum system and, and America is already on it, okay, the rest of the world will follow in the next few months, maybe a couple of years. But basically when we're on it, it will sense the bad guys. The bad guys won't be able to do what they've been doing, like selling drugs and banking the money and things like that, because their bank accounts will be closed down. They won't be able to use anything in the financial system and they will be sussed out and arrested. Mm -hmm. So basically there's a whole new world coming in and people don't realize that and they don't believe it. They, so in a way, all this is because they're being shown the change. Okay, but surely, Elaine, if you start to get the military on the street, like I said, Tobias Elwood said we have to bring in the military, and it was like, oh, no way, we're not you know, going to let that happen. Surely that's feeding in more and more into the fear, because you start to see the military in the street, and you know, those people like us, people that that are not buying into um, Trump. I'm not saying like us, I'm saying like a lot of people that are awake are not prepared to buy into it. They're going to see that as, as a reason to, to fight or to fight against the military. I mean, how, how do you draw this line? I mean, you've got the media telling people 
that this is going to kill them and, and, and they're working for the deep state. They're scaring everyone. Then you, if you're going to have the military and the police becoming uh, violent and like martial law, law, then people are going to start going underground and they're going to try to fight back. Do you understand? Well, I don't think martial law will be universal. I think um, it will happen where um, they haven't got enough police to manage things and they have to bring in the army. Or it might be even that they reorganise the police, take them off the streets and they put the military on instead. But I'm not afraid of what's going to happen. Oh, I know... Sorry. The I know that to um, wear masks and masks are very dangerous for you. Masks oh yes, and it's all part of the. We must be shown how bad it gets. If you see what I mean. But that's where the confusion is, because if you the police are going to force people to wear a mask, or the military, which is really bad for us, because you're breathing in carbon di dioxide all the time. How can that be a good thing? How can well, I mean, this may be another reason for the lockdowns. You won't have to go anywhere and wear a mask. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. 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 The Let's other thing, of course... In a different way. Yeah. So, okay. So, so the so, other thing, of course, is the government <laughs> has given us an out with masks. If you go to the government website and look at the exemptions, they are, so, they are so broad that yeah. most people, people could find something that would say I'm exempt. For instance, one of, the, um, one of the stipulations is that it causes you great distress to wear it. I know. You know so basically, that's, that, everybody could say that because it's actually impacting your body in a very bad way. So it does cause you distress. So they've given it to you. But what they're saying is most people don't look beyond the end of their nose or the television. And they need to start using their brain in a different way because the new world will be using it in that different way. Yeah, you see, that that's the thing. Is I proved to everyone that the government said you're supposed to wear face covering and that most people are exempt. And the reason is because they don't want to have to pay you liability if you get sick. So I don't know why people are walking around wearing sanitary towels or napkins <laughs> on their face. Because I have um, told them to do that. The first time I went out and decided I wasn't going to wear a mask, I, my little heart went boom, 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 boom as I went in, you know. But basically, I've got used to saying now I am exempt and I do have a genuine reason for exemption. But I'm not going to tell them that reason. This is, they're not supposed to question your reason. You just need to tell them you're exempt. Yeah. A lot of people just, they don't listen. They say, oh, the government told me. And I say, no, they didn't. But and Well, like I said to you, the media is pretty good at putting lot, yeah. fear into people. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. So we'll leave, we leave that lot into it because we're looking at a different perspective, a fascinating perspective. Well, spiritual people say there's going to be a split. Some people are going to stay in 3D, maybe got to 4D. The others are going to rise up to 5D and above. But basically, I don't see that as a physical split. I see that as when Trump lets out, because he's got an emergency broadcast system set up. So when all this is, is more or less ready to show the public, um, he's going to take over all broadcasting media and show us what's been going on. And that will be probably a three-day event or more. Okay? okay, And you won't be able to watch the telly or go on... Um, the internet and look things up because all you'll be able to find is this broadcast which tells you what's been going on okay so as i said this is absolutely fascinating and i'm really looking forward to it and hoping please god that we get the world that we all deserve because i've never had a happy world ever i'm not well going you're to, going to experience I, it. I deserve it the same way as we all deserve to be well, up until now, I've been very worried about my children and what sort of life they've got to face because I've seen how the world has gone downhill in my lifetime. Um, but now I can honestly hand on heart say they're going to have a lovely time. So can you and they're going to be that? able to travel. They're going to have the money to do it, everything. But I have some names for you before you go. Okay. No, we're not finished yet. So oh, right. Okay. I thought you were on your way out. Let's no 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 no. This is <laughs> going anywhere. 
So let's come back to something. So the vaccination, the Bill Gates nonsense, that's not going to happen. They're not going to be able to ban us from going on uh, airplane to see the beauty of the world and all of that, because I felt in my heart that it was not going to happen. So what, is he being arrested or was he just used in some way? Well, the general public won't accept this, of course, but I've been told that Bill Gates um, was arrested and um, he immediately capitulated to Trump and he did a complete turnaround and said that he would um, aid and abet him. So until we... Trump has managed to clear all these dumps and he's really engaged in that at the moment. He's uh, actually allowed everything else to play out and, and um, we won't be made to take a vaccine. We will, will not have 5G as we know it. Texas now has its first Tesla tower up and running. Wow. Um, and I've seen really? video footage of that. Yeah, yes. okay. So... Um, Basically, there's a, there's a lot there that um, I don't think we're going to have to do any of this stuff. It's, it's the deep state and the media ramping up the fear because they need it to feed off of us. They are now weakening. Mm. So I, my, my advice to anyone who's afraid of something or worried about something, just think of something you love and, or you're being really grateful for and, and try and stay in that state of gratitude for that because basically that stops them feeding okay i mean the beautiful thing that you said here that hopefully we need to send this everywhere to, to help people particularly the freedom fighters that are going to that are feeling that they're going to need to fight unfortunately the beautiful thing that you have said is that you have a family you have kids do you have grandkids no, no, I don't have any grandkids. But you but have even my two sons I've been very worried about. But now, say that directly now to the parents that are watching this, to those that are really scared, that think they're going to have to pick up a gun to protect their family. Could you say that? To them? I have two sons. They're now in, one is 40, one is late 30s. I've been very worried about their future and I'm 65 now and um, basically I've thought, well, I'll be gone and how will, how will they manage? They won't have their mum to, to ring and, and tell things and, and help them sort it out. I've, and the world, since I've been working, has got a lot worse. We now need two parents to make ends meet all the time with the family. You have to pay out for childcare and um, just things have got harder and harder and less and less joyful. But my feeling now after everything I've learned in the last few months and everything I'm seeing happening is one of joy. My sons will be fine. They will live in a lovely world. They will have enough money. They will be able to travel. They will be able to have a nice roof over their heads Nothing that I was worried about will happen to them in the future if Trump gets through all this stuff that he's dealing with now. So we're, again, you know, so, but if he doesn't get in, surely enough people have come together now through Q and through uh, where we go, when we go all, it's called us together and with the beings of light and everything that's waking up, surely we're on, we will be on a high enough vibration ourselves to change the whole consciousness. As I said, in well, you know, like when you Magna Carta, we've got the common law in the UK. We can do this ourselves. We can create communes. We can, we can change this consciousness even if he, God forbid, he, does, he doesn't get in, which I can't see that thing. Well, they reckon that he's got a 90-odd percent lead, so yeah. I, I think he will get this. I think it's a done deal, okay? Yeah. Um, but also, people won't... They used, to, um, uh, they used to hijack votes and they used to invent votes and all sorts of the Democrats. And um, now, quant, from what I gather, they're using the quantum financial system computer to do the voting on so it's impossible to doctor it okay okay and just another couple of things because i could go on forever with this you you we talked about you you mentioned that you work with common law 
uh, yourself now and that with common law people don't actually have to pay taxes is that right no no you got that wrong but okay explain that to me okay you can actually disengage yourself from the contract made by your birth certificate all you need to do is commonlaw.org or it's something like that. I, I'll send you the proper link, but it's commonlaw.org and you register with them as a citizen, okay, in your own right, a sovereign being. Mm -hmm. That actually officially, it's a world website and it officially disengages you from the contract that was made when your parents signed a birth certificate and okay. put you under the law that we're using at the moment. It's my understanding our judges are at the moment being retrained in common law, which is a lot simpler than corporate law and so on that they've been using. So um, we will notice big, huge differences and, and everyone will be a common law citizen. That's incredible. So you go on commonlaw.org yeah you can even get like a little id card which you can pay for it looks like a credit card which mm -hmm. says you're a common law citizen and you can actually take that into court should you ever have to go to court and show the judge and he can't hear the case so when when you see someone for example that is drowning because they've lost everything because of the lockdown they can't pay the rent they can't do anything if they become a common law citizen does that abolish them from paying rent to the landlord? No, because we have to pay our way in the world, whichever way you look at it. But anything that was taxed, i.e. Um, the inland revenue, um, council tax, interest on bank loans, interest on mortgages, these are all illegal under common law. Sure, but surely, I mean, rental has gone sky high. Like, um, this is a one-bedroom house and I have to pay £850 a month for a one-bedroom house. So Right, well, I have a, a housing background, okay. Yeah. Um, I worked in social housing for years, and if you do get an eviction notice, you need to go straight to your council, and you give it to them, and you say, I want to go on the housing list. I don't know how to do it. You need to lead me through it. And you stay there till they do that, okay? Right. And then they will, if you are, they'll be swamped, absolutely swamped. Because, yes. you know, there are going to be, in, in the built-up areas, lots of people who have lost everything, okay? But by law, they have to um, advise you, maybe even um, supply a deposit on somewhere for you or find you a and b they won't leave they they shouldn't leave you homeless and especially right, if you yeah. have a special need right okay well the, it's not like that anymore with the way the councils are horrendous so i don't want to go oh yes but the thing is they they aren't like that by law they have so to do yeah. these things they might tell you that and they might stick to their guns and you might have to walk away because you don't understand. But basically, if you just say, I'm not moving anywhere, you need to help me and you have a duty to help me, they have to do it. But what I'm saying is, mm, <laughs> no. <laughs> and the estate agents don't care if you're homeless either. But oh, no, no, no. But don't I'm look at the private sector. Nobody in the long private time sector cares. This has developed a lot. In the last 10 years, everything's gone pear-shaped and people really don't get looked after. But what I'm saying is, with, when you become a common law citizen, do you have more rights to be taken care of than you do? I don't know is the answer. I don't, I don't know the ins and outs of it. And I suggest you go to the website because they do have that on there. They have, they have lots of little... PDFs you can read about all sorts of different things. But I don't know the ins and outs of it, okay. Lauren. And I, I think a lot of people around are looking at the common law in order to stop uh, all the COVID laws coming out, you know, like taking children away from their families and things like this. So Yes, well, I think that's more of a threat to, re to raise the fear levels than it is an actual practical application. So... Um, I, I mean, I hope, I hope to God it isn't, but my heart, my heart tells me it's not going to happen. It's a threat to raise the fear up, okay? And those fear levels are high at the moment, and they need to come down. 
So uh, yeah, sorry, Elaine, because there are there is some proof. They are taking, they are situations. Well, there's a lot going on, which again, I don't really want to go into it with you because that's not why I brought you on here. But I, I just want to, before we finish, again, we're just going to um, basically just explain a little bit uh, for what this big conversation was all about. And you were talking about this. We, we said what, when the kids actually do come out, there's going to be so many of them because unfortunately they've been breeding as well, which is so sick. Like the mole children, they've been breeding. Where are you, where we, what we, where are the kids going to go? I mean, you can't, a lot of them that were sex slaves, you can't send them back to their families because a lot of the time the families were involved and we know that as well. And they're not going to be going back into a good atmosphere. So you mentioned one of your dreams was to create an orphanage where the children could come to and they could be safe where you are? No, not a dream. It, it will happen. I mean, the deep state created camps called FEMA camps, okay, for us to go to when they won the war against light, okay. Um, and those FEMA camps, hospital wards, uh, hospital ships, things like that, they're all being used at the moment for these children to make them well. There are over 2,000 different um, um, high-tech devices for medical purposes and all sorts of other purposes that have been hidden from us over the years. Now, one of these medical devices is called a medibed. Yeah. And the medibed is a magnetic instrument that realigns the magnetism in the body and we all know that our cells are actually built from a membrane on the outside which is magnetic so basically the magnetic medibeds will rebuild re, re, redo all sorts but what they're going to do is these children need some help mentally and physically so i think these medibeds are going to be used for them before they go anywhere they can reset their minds everything with them um mind control was has been used through torture um underground on these children and it will take a little while to get them back to normal but everything i'm reading suggests it it's very possible that we can erase all that and actually give them good memories rather than bad ones to give them a bit of a chance in this world and our world is going to change as i say it will be a much better world so basically they will be in a state of mind to join that world as much as the, the ones they can save. But you're absolutely right. They found over a million children under Central Australia. A million. Yeah. It, it just, a lot of people, I'm trying to get the information out drip by drip. Yeah. I'm talking to my sister is in Israel now. She didn't, doesn't want to know. I said, Israel is locked down again, and it could be because of what's going on with your government. And well, Trump always said he would leave Israel till last. last. She, she says, I'm insane. That's what they always say. That's why they cut me off. But the thing is, I'm trying to drip it. And I said to them, you've got to start doing your research. I mean, I'm shocked every time I hear it again. It breaks my heart, Elaine, because I couldn't have a child. I wasn't able to adopt because of all the corruption and all the crap. And um, so I try to drip it bit by bit to people. But when it comes out... Um, they reckon that when it comes out... They take the it, they'll that, kill themselves. They won't be. Yeah, the, the people will be so shocked. But um, my meditation and other people I know who are meditating on this at the moment are actually being told that it's not our job to convert someone to change someone's mind. We can share what we've got because we have a knowledge and an understanding. But at the moment, our job, Lauren, is to rest, relax, gain our strength, to fight for those that need our help when all this comes out. And the people that don't awaken will need help, mm -hmm. apart from the children. Yeah. I mean, you've got to think that the theory about a bottle, if you push a bottle slightly on its side, it will rock. Okay. And there's a point where if you push it 
that little bit harder, it rolls right over. They think the population is at that point now. Mm. And I hope that's true. Well, I think us star seeds, every single one I've spoken to, have gone through a hell of a life and a hell of, of seven months. And to make us so strong, I, I lost everything. I even separated from a 27-year marriage, lost my job, lost my family. They'll cut me off. Lost so this is a common story amongst all my friends. And mm. I've attracted the most beautiful souls into my life. The kindest, most loving st people that are there that are, are, are basically, we are the core. And... Um, you know, people like yourself that I am so grateful we got to do this interview because I... I'm glad you asked me. I would love to see a consciousness of bartering. I want to see us sharing our skills. So imagine waking up in the morning and thinking, I don't have to pay anything. If I want to do whatever, I say I want to, I don't know, I want to sing. I want to have a theater because that's always... well. Good. Put it this you way. You just have it. It's just there. And you just exchange. your. All right. the, the gold in the world <laughs> is much more than we ever knew. Under the Vatican, they found 15 miles of gold stashed in huge, huge underground caverns. The queen is supposed to have lost all her gold and now penniless. Okay. Cut off from her wealth. Good. Okay. The gold that they found in various places all over the world, and there's more to find, Trump says is more than enough for everybody to have plenty of money at any time in their life. Okay. So they're looking at, just as a rough sum in America, anybody who's paid taxes and worked for until their retirement, um, yeah, they're looking at a sum of something like $80,000 a year as a gift. Fantastic. Right now, if you think of that in most pe poor people's pocket, but the thing is, they're not ready for it yet. So we yes. have to wait for that tipping point. Otherwise, they just waste it on rubbish. Do you know what? I did a tarot reading uh, a couple of months ago, which said exactly what you just said, that Nassara and Jasara has been held back because the vibration isn't right. And there's a lot of people that don't want it. They want to carry on. They're already down the PC world buying Christmas presents when all we can think of is saving children's lives. And they're standing out there in queues in the rain because that's all they think about. Probably. I know, but then they're the, put, they're the masks. You know what I mean? They'll be buying designer masks. They're the people stuck in 3D, oh, aren't they? God, my but God. if I give you this playlist, um, this thing, because... I want your viewers to be able to check what I'm saying. Of course. Okay. So I go to YouTube for lots of reasons and lots of people, but I can give you a list of my YouTube main ones. Okay. okay. Well, give us some now, whoever's watching, and then you can give me some links and I will put them as well. Yeah, probably. right. Okay. I watch someone called Kirsten W., and it's C-I-R-S-T-E-N-W. And she has a playlist and it's called Gene Decode Playlist. Okay. There's a Nicholas Hamblin on YouTube. He's English, I think, and um, talks about English dumbs. Camelot TV and it's the Mappin family. They have Camelot Castle and they also talk about all this. There's a psychic and um, a Galactic Alliance person called Nyla Nugent, and that's N-Y-L-A-N-U-G-E-N-T. She is very good. There's a psychic in Australia called J-C-K, and it's literally the, num the letters J-C space K, and it's called Quantum Truths. She's amazing. She's well worth listening to. Charlie Ward, of course. Yeah. Charlie Ward is on, on YouTube. The, there is another one called Blessed to Teach. Now, remember, a lot of this is American, and the Americans are very goodly godly. So um, the Blessed to Teach, he's a vicar, I think, of sorts. But he's got, um, he's got a video which proves what I said about Trump being in charge of the world. 
and um, it's called Trump in Charge of UK Military. Okay, goes back to January, but it shows you how that's happened. Okay, okay. it's worth a watch. There's Charlie Freak, who's done it from the spiritual side of things. You know, and he's amazing. Everything he's learned has been confirmed by other people, but it came through meditation. Right. Okay. So those are a few of, of those that um, I wanted to give you before we finished. Um, also, if people don't believe about the Dumbs, they're still working in Britain. And um, I've actually seen reports of manholes with flames coming out in cities. And that's because they're burning out the, the tunnels and some manholes it's escaping through. So, um, you know, you really need to look that up on YouTube because people have videoed, videoed it. So um, how, can they, how can they burn out the tunnels and not hurt the children? Oh, they get the children out first. They take them out first. Yeah, everybody stay okay. first. But then they burn them out to get rid of anybody who might be um, evil still down there. And, and apparently, because the dark ones are cannibals, they get a disease which is very contagious. So they clean up the dumps, okay? Well, it's like living in some weird science. Well, if you look at Netflix and you look at Hollywood... They've actually warned us of a lot of this in the films, they but have. people always saw it as, oh, it's just a film. It's a sci-fi film, you know. Yeah. But in actual fact, their code of conduct, according to the Galactic Alliance, is they must tell us what they're going to do next. And they've done that with Hollywood. Right, okay. Okay. Yeah, but of course, a lot of people in Hollywood are already in chains. Um, people, are, people have gone and... Um, People are it locked in their houses. Shows have disappeared. Um, main people that, I mean, Johnny Depp, I used to love Johnny Depp. Mm. You know, he was an well, adrenochrome user. And, um, and Jim Carrey, I used to love oh, him. It goes he's back so, through yeah, to people priest, like the, the Pack Rats, Sinatra, Gene, what's yeah. it? You know, they, they were all part of it. And it's awful. We, we have lived in a, in a sham for centuries and, and we're only just now waking up, which is the nice thing. Yeah. Well, Elaine, it's been an absolutely mind-blowing interview. I've been looking forward to this interview for a while now because, as I said, we want to know about the kids people keep saying to me oh if this is true so how they will be they will be all right and so all the girls that have been used as breeding mums and you know sex slaves and so on they will all be as much as as um you know people are worried about them they will all be okay but we will need people to help and look after them mm -hmm. and um those people themselves will need help with doing that so um, I want to be part of that, and I expect you do too. And, well, expect, um, sorry, Elaine, I expect the people like us, when we see what we see, we're, we're going to be able to deal with it better than other people. Because let's face it, we don't know what these children are going to look like. No, and also we've got the thing that we've actually, most starseeds and lightworkers have had very difficult lives. And they've become accustomed to dealing with hardship and seeing horrible things happen. And um, it kind of um, it kind of gets you ready to do something like this. And when you look back through your life, you'll see synchronicities that have led you to this place. It's um, an amazing journey. I'm just so grateful I'm here. You know. But we do need to have that. One of the things I think with the social distancing that doesn't work for me is we're tribal. People are tribal. You see, I grew up in Israel, as I said, and when there was a war, you'd go down to the air raid shelter and everyone would be together and you'd all bond and, you know, and you'd work together. But this has been the loneliest time of my life. Okay, it's making me very strong. It's making me extremely strong. And I've gone back to my dreams, like my music and all sorts of things. You've gone back to the things that make you joyous, make, which is what matters. Thing, literally. But as I said, um, we need a stronger network, uh, particularly when the kids come out. We're going to need each other because 
we're going to need to have to hold each other. It, it's just going to be very, very painful. And I think, um, I think what um, we need to be ready for it. So we need to be strong as well. So we need to make sure we're strong. And we also need, like, we'll need local groups to help because these dams are all over the place, literally. And um, each region will have something near them that they will need to deal with. And, and I have a feeling this is why our hospitals have more or less, you know, they're, they're empty. They're waiting for this to happen. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, we will have a lot of work to do. But um, I'm full of hope. I'm full of joy. I, we were sent here to be here on this earth at this time as souls. And we volunteered for this, in my opinion. And I'm really grateful I'm here to, to watch the evolution of our race, our world. Well, as I said, thank you so much, Elaine. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Something I've got um, nothing here in my notes. Well, there was one thing. Yeah, go on. These <laughs> tunnels reached all over the world, under underwater as well, okay? And basically, they've absolutely cleared all the oceanic tunnels. They had anti-gravity trains that went through these tunnels, and they have been put out of, of commission. The tunnels have been flooded or blown up or whatever. And so now um, the dumps that they are clearing, uh, they've got no escape. So as I say, we've won. Okay. So are we going to have a nice Christmas? Very I, think, Christmas. I think we will have a reasonable Christmas, yes. And I think... Um, we will start seeing confessions from all the people involved in, in late winter. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Um, I can't wait to put this interview out. I'm sure that it's going to give people a lot of hope and also another perspective. And hopefully it will stop people from, doing, from, from confronting the police, you know, on Saturday. I'm going I do tonight so they get it before Saturday so hopefully this will give people a, a reason to think no I, I'm not going to do that I'm going to step back I'm going to take a breath because a lot of people you know as I say, I did the tarot and I got the um I got the knight of swords upside down and oh right that's uh, you don't go out there fast it's gonna be furious. well see when I read the knight of swords I see it and upside down I see it as a short sharp shock yeah, but you what what you want is you want the Knight of Pentacles slowly and gently. Yeah, <laughs> he's the only knight who stands still and looks before him yeah. before he does anything. Exactly. Very wise. Thank you so much, Elaine. As I said, um, so I just want to say thank you so much to Elaine for coming on and talking to us and giving us a huge amount of information and huge <laughs> amount of positive stuff for for a change that you can go back and you can check um, all the links that she's already given you. And also I'll put them on at the end so you can check them and um, please come on moving on TV with more positive stories. We want your positive stories. And uh, so I wish you well, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful evening, Elaine. And uh, I shall send this to you by tonight. As I said, it's going on. I'm going to get on it now. Um, Great. We'll go on so here. thank you for having me and yeah. um i just hope people don't think i'm too loopy you know? well there's a hell of a lot of us and you know i don't think well we're growing definitely yeah. i think that bottle is about to roll over okay so we we just have to have a lot of hope a lot of patience and common sense and yeah. just research and research and research and it's we must actually take action in our own individual way and, and not aggressive action. We need to look further than the end of our nose and stop watching that television. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this lovely advert with this girl. She has a hammer. She says that if you want to end fear, just sm she smashes the TV. End of. <laughs> well, that's what moving on TV is the new media. It's everybody's media. It's a media to give you hope. I, I put out what I can. I've never, ever had anyone come on here to counteract the truth. And isn't that interesting? They're all yeah. changing and complaining, but they won't come on 
to debate or counteract anything that we say? I think their fear actually drives them to a brick wall and they don't want to go beyond that brick wall. Yeah. But they're going to have to in some respects. And um, uh, we, we should all be, I mean, life always changes. That's right. Yeah. Maybe you'll write a book or something and get, you know, get all the... Maybe one day, you never life know. story in the book. <laughs> mm. Okay, take care. Lots of lovely Lane. Thank you so Thank much. you for having me. So grateful. Thank you. Good Bye. Day. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, there you go. <laughs> what an interview. I hope you heard a lot of fascinating stuff. Prepare yourself for the kids coming out. Prepare yourself to be strong. If you're a star seed or an indigo or you've got a job to do, your job is to hold those that are not going to be able to hold themselves, so to speak. Um, there's, I'm going to give you a list now um, of the different sites and um, contacts where you can find more information. Okay, um, you've got Nyla, N-Y-L-A, Nugent, N-U-G-E-N-T, on YouTube, she's a psychic. You've got J C K A Y, um, Quantum Th Truth, um, and you have got uh, Kirsten W C I R S T E N W. You've got Blessed to Teach, Nicholas Hamblin. I'll put all of these, and Trump in charge of the UK military is uh, through, um, put that into YouTube, Trump in charge of the UK military. And what else did she give me here? Um, okay, commonlaw.org, where you can become a citizen, a common law citizen, and see what exciting things you can do. Getting all the interest back from the banks now, that would be exciting, wouldn't it? Anyway, please subscribe, share, and like. Send this everywhere. God, guys, there's so much incredible information on here. Stay strong. Don't fight. Pull back the common law. Get into your groups. Uh, meditate. Send out the light. Send out the love. Um, but, you know, find out what your rights are. Stand up for yourself. And the rest, it's up to you to decide. Do your research. I'm just putting it out there. Um, I love you lots. And let's hope that uh, those poor babies will be brought into safety and love from, you know, from what we're hearing. I hope I cleared some of that up for you today. And as I say, love you lots. Please subscribe, share and like. Come on board Moving On TV. Give me more stories, more positive stories. I love you lots. Take care now. Have a beautiful evening. Oh, yeah.